home video. To quote the lyrics of Billy Corgan, the world is a vampire. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. In the case of Abigail, the new movie from the Radio Silence Collective, the vampire is a little ballerina girl. And the rats in a cage are an eccentric group of criminals who foolishly kidnapped her. This tiny dancer's got sharp teeth, a big appetite, and she likes to play with her food. The Radio Silence Collective have managed to put together an impressive body of work to date. They're best known for the last two Scream movies, but it was Ready or Not that really put them on the map for me. However, Abigail is their best work to date, and one of the best times I've had at the theater in... a long time. It all starts with the cast, and the characters. All the members of this ragtag crew of criminals are nicely fleshed out, and they have their own unique quirks that provide them with a sense of individuality. Their interactions are also highly entertaining. They reminded me a little of Reservoir Dogs, only a, a lot more neurotic. And you're lucky if you get one scene-stealing performance in a movie. We get no less than three here. Kevin Durand, Dan Stevens, and Alicia Weir dominate every scene that they're in. Their characters are well-written, they're likable, despite being thieves, killers, and a member of the undead, and their individual performances are outstanding. Dan Stevens is one of the best actors working today. If you haven't seen The Guest, then you're doing yourself a major disservice, and I've loved Durand in everything I've seen him in. Alicia Weir in particular shines as Abigail. She more than holds her own against actors twice or three times her age, and with significantly more experience. And when she's not cutting throats, she can really cut a rug. I have a feeling that bloody ballerinas with fangs will be a popular Halloween costume this year. Catherine Newton is memorable as a punky hacker, and Melissa Barrera's one and only fault here is being the only straight character in a room full of maniacs. Aside from providing the characters with plenty of character, writer Stephen Shields and Guy Busick are also generous when it comes to smart and amusing dialogue. Abigail also benefits from a great sense of dark humor throughout, and directors Matt bedellini Open and Tyler Gillette often mesh humor with moments of tension or pay off suspense with a dose of humor, or vice versa. And I know, I know, sometimes humor and horror don't jibe, but they go together here like peanut butter and jelly. I could go for a PB&J right now, as a matter of fact. But this is a vampire movie after all, and Abigail doesn't disappoint when it comes to the bloodshed. Abigail is plenty bloody with the usual vampire-related bloodletting. And then some. And then some more. Despite a couple of minor qualms during the final act, I had an absolute blast with Abigail. It's one of the best movies that I've seen this year. The cast, the pacing, the humor, the dialogue, the twists and turns all come together to weave this highly entertaining and wonderfully blood-caked tapestry that I cannot recommend any higher. And if you saw the trailer and thought that it was a little too spoilery, as I did, and it is a little spoilery. However, it's not quite as spoilery as I had suspected. So don't let that deter you too much from seeing the movie. If you've seen Abigail, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your favorite movie of 2024 has been so far. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members-only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.